In the dimly lit realm of cinematic classics, there exists a time capsule that catapults us into the gritty urban tapestry of the late 1960s. Picture this, the distant wail of sirens, the city's pulse echoing through narrow alleys, and the mesmerizing growl of a Ford Mustang as it screeches around corners with reckless abandon. This is the world of Bullet, a movie that's not just a film but an experience, an emblem of an era when celluloid dreams were etched with an undeniable edge. Remember that first encounter, the anticipation as the reel started rolling, your senses heightened by the moody atmosphere. It's like plunging into a world where Steve McQueen's piercing gaze and unyielding coolness became a mirror reflecting our own fascination with unbridled determination. As the plot unfolded, you were strapped into the passenger seat of that iconic Mustang, heart pounding with every high-speed pursuit. And that legendary car chase, oh, that chase, an adrenaline-drenched symphony of screeching tires and cinematic craftsmanship that left an indelible tire mark on your memory. But let's not merely skim the surface of bullet. Let's delve deeper, peel back the layers of trivia that lace this masterpiece with intrigue. Did you know that the film's director fought to capture authentic, unscripted reactions from unsuspecting pedestrians during the chase scene? These snippets of reality melded seamlessly into the real, blurring the lines between fiction and the bustling heartbeat of San Francisco. And what about the secrets hidden within the frames? Those subtle nods exchanged between characters, as loaded as the silences between lines of dialogue. Every scene painted a picture of a city with its own secrets, a mirror for our own unspoken mysteries. So, as we journey back to the days when Bullet was more than just a movie, it was a pulse-pounding plunge into a world that lingered long after the credits rolled, let's unravel more of the enigmatic threads that bind this cinematic gem. Strap in, fellow voyagers, for we're about to traverse the terrain of random facts and astonishing tidbits that will cast Bullet in an even more spellbinding light. Revving up history, the legendary cars of Bullet in the realm of cinema's unforgettable moments. The high-speed chase scene from the 1968 film Bullet holds an indelible place. Roaring through the streets of San Francisco, it wasn't just Steve McQueen's iconic portrayal that left Jaws drop. It was the heart-pounding pursuit between a 1968 Ford Mustang GT390 and a 1968 Dodge Charger that left an enduring mark on cinematic history. The pulse-pounding chase was orchestrated with precision, a symphony of screeching tires and roaring engines. However, few might know the intricate behind-the-scenes details that made this automotive ballet possible. Two Mustangs and two Dodge Chargers starred in this adrenaline-fueled spectacle, each playing its role in the vehicular tango. Both Mustangs, on loan from the Ford Motor Company as part of a promotional arrangement with Warner Bros., underwent a transformation under the hands of seasoned auto racer Max Balchowski. The real showstopper, though, was the driving finesse of Bud Ekins, a motorcycling legend and stunt extraordinaire who maneuvered the Mustang through the heart-stopping stunts. Meanwhile, the Dodge Chargers met a less fortunate fate. Post the final reel, the Dodges found their destiny in the junkyard, a fitting end for cars that had challenged McQueen's Mustang on the silver screen. One Mustang suffered the same fate, while the other, less battle-worn, embarked on a different journey. Its destination, a barn in New Jersey, where it lay dormant until fate intervened. Steve McQueen's desire to own the very car had raced and led him to this very barn, hoping to clinch a deal. The owner, however, had other plans, the car remaining an elusive dream for McQueen. Years later, a revival story emerged from the shadows. Ford chose this Mustang to herald the 2018 Bullet Mustang at the Detroit International Auto Show, the car's engine roaring back to life after years of slumber. Peeling back the layers of this cinematic relic reveals the intricate dance between man and machine, a chase that immortalized not just the film but also the very essence of adrenaline-fueled action. From the hands of Ford to the heart of McQueen, the legacy of the bullet chase lives on, a testament to the artistry that transpires when speed and storytelling collide. In the iconic 1968 film Bullet, directed by Peter Yates, a lesser-known yet intriguing behind-the-scenes fact shines a light on the meticulous artistry of filmmaking. Surprisingly, approximately half of the movie's scenes were filmed without live dialogue or sound effects. Instead, the ambient noise and spoken lines were added during post-production. This technique, while unconventional, allowed the filmmakers to capture authentic ambient sounds during shooting, preserving the raw atmosphere of the scenes. The decision to loop in sound later showcased the film's commitment to achieving a cinematic realism that went beyond the norm. Amidst the production, a clash of wills between star Steve McQueen and director Peter Yates led to a showdown that left a memorable mark. After McQueen's car collision mishap, his wife Neil Adams urged Yates to employ stuntmen for safety. The outcome? McQueen, upon reporting for duty, found himself face to face with a surprising sight, stuntman Bud Ekin sitting in McQueen's car, complete with McQueen's attire. This unexpected move incited fury in the star, illustrating the intense dedication and control McQueen sought to exert over his role in the production process. The film's leading character, Lieutenant Frank Bullitt, sported a distinct, casually stylish ensemble that became a topic of conversation during and after the film's release. His turtleneck paired with a sport coat, slacks, and suede-like shoes was a sartorial choice that sparked interest. 
However, the costume's significance extends beyond fashion. Set over a Saturday and Sunday, Bullet's weekend attire aligned with some police department's relaxed dress codes for plainclothes officers during off-duty hours. Notably, the character's initial appearance in traditional business attire was supplied by Doogee Haywoods, a respected menswear shop in London, England, demonstrating the level of detail invested in crafting Bullet's on-screen persona. In the backdrop of this cinematic masterpiece, these lesser-known facets deepen our understanding of the dedication, creativity, and attention to detail that went into making Bullet an enduring classic. Bullet revs up, unveiling lesser-known facts in the annals of cinema history. 1,968 seconds Bullet is a name that reverberates with power, grit, and that iconic car chase. While the film's reputation is etched in stone, some of its more intriguing details often remain hidden beneath the surface. Hubcap havoc, amid the screeching tires and heart-pounding pursuit, aficionados might have missed a curious detail. During the high-octane car chase, the villain's car unexpectedly sheds not one, not two, but five hubcaps. This enigmatic glitch only adds to the chase's mystique, subtly reminding us that even the most meticulously planned scenes can't always escape the whims of reality. It's not just on-screen where Bullet embraces the unexpected. Shifting horizons, the bustling streets of Los Angeles were almost the backdrop for this crime drama. The script initially positioned the narrative within the City of Angels' urban sprawl. However, producer Philip D. and Tony harbored a different vision. Keen to evade the spotlight's glare, he sought refuge from the la lens. The decision to relocate was deliberate, shifting the lens from the expected and in turn, perhaps, altering the course of film history. As we untangle the strands of cinematic folklore, one misconception comes to light. Wordplay revisited, while many have dubbed Bullet as the pioneer film to deploy a certain expletive, historical precision reveals a different tale. This distinction, often attributed to Bullet, in fact belongs to its predecessor, In Cold Blood. The discrepancy is a reminder that even the most fervently held beliefs can sometimes crumble in the face of historical accuracy. So, let's cherish the known and relish the unknown of Bullet, a film that roared onto the scene, hubcaps and all, reshaping expectations with every twist of the wheel. And there you have it, the unvarnished truths behind the screen, laid bare for all to see. In the 1968 film Bullet, Mimi Farina, the lesser-known sister of famed Joan Baez, makes an uncredited appearance. She portrays the lunch guest of Eddie, Lieutenant Frank Bullet's confidential informant, during a scene at Enrico's in North Beach. This subtle cameo adds a touch of unexpected star power to the movie's ensemble. However, a more prominent architectural detail also draws attention. Jacqueline Bissett's character, Kathy, is depicted working on water flow calculations for a modernist fountain. This fountain, a model titled Quebec Libre, by Canadian sculptor Armand Valencourt, was a real project under examination during the film's production. While the movie showcases the model in black, the final fountain was constructed in natural grey concrete and unveiled in 1971. It stands today at San Francisco's Embarcadero Center, a testament to the film's connection to the city's evolving landscape. Of course, no discussion of Bullet is complete without mentioning the iconic cars. Frank Bullet's vehicle of choice is a 1968 Ford Mustang 390 GT2 Plus 2 Fastback, emblematic of his rugged and daring character. The antagonists, on the other hand, opt for a 1968 Dodge Charger 440 Magnum, offering just a slight edge in speed with a 13.6 second quarter mile compared to the Mustang's 13.8 second. This thrilling automotive rivalry underscores the film's commitment to high-octane action. Bullet, directed by Peter Yates, remains a classic of the action thriller genre. Its attention to detail, from uncredited appearances to architectural nods, contributes to its enduring appeal. Whether on the streets of San Francisco or in the hearts of cinema enthusiasts, the film continues to rev its engines, engaging audiences with its dynamic narrative and unforgettable moments. As we bid adieu to the captivating realm of Bullet, we find ourselves transported through time, our souls entwined with the essence of 1968. Just as the iconic Mustang roared through the streets of San Francisco, its engines reverberations echoing through cinematic history, so too does this masterpiece echo within our hearts. Dear reader, you've embarked on a journey alongside McQueen's enigmatic detective Frank Bullitt, a voyage that transcends mere celluloid. The atmospheric jazz that permeates the film's corners, the tension that hangs in the air like fog over the bay, these are sensations imprinted on your senses, moments of pure artistry forever etched into the tapestry of your memories. But let us not part ways here. No, let us dive deeper into the introspective abyss that Bullet beckons us toward. What resonates within you as Bullet's charge chase unfolds? Is it the way the cityscape mirrors the labyrinth of your mind, or perhaps the enigmatic glances exchanged, saying more than words ever could? As the final frames flicker, let this not be an end, but an invitation, a reminder that we are all, in our own ways, detectives navigating the convoluted avenues of life. So, share with us your thoughts, your cherished fragments of connection to this celluloid marvel. 
Whether it's the first time you witnessed that breathtaking pursuit or the quiet conversations that spoke louder than explosions, your voice adds to the symphony of homage. Thank you, kind traveler of time and celluloid, for indulging in this shared contemplation. Your presence enriches the legacy of Bullet, infusing it with a vitality that surpasses the constraints of eras. Until our musings cross paths once more, keep the Mustang of your memories alive, forever racing through the alleys of nostalgia. Reflect, share, and remember, imbue the past with your present. After all, it's your story that weaves the grand tapestry of cinema's allure. With cinematic fervor, 